we're tracking Sandy. The area of strong winds is going to be absolutely enormous and its effect on millions. This is nothing to play with, but we need to prepare for the worst. Hunker down and ride out this one. In an event like Sandy, stay connected with loved ones. Sign up for My Friends Weather on weather.com. See if your friends are in harm's way and alert them to severe conditions. Before, during, and after the storm, we're defining coverage of severe weather. We are the Weather Channel. Now your local on the 8th. A coastal flood warning, a high wind warning, and a flood watch have been issued for our area by the National Weather Service. The temperature is 58 degrees under cloudy skies. For tonight, windy with rain showers likely, low. 52. Winds north northeast at 25 to 35 miles per hour. Chance of rain 60%. Winds could occasionally gust over 40 miles per hour. And on Monday, windy with periods of rain. High 57. Winds north northeast at 35 to 50 miles per hour. 1 to 2 inches of rain expected. Winds could occasionally gust over 70 miles per hour. And Monday night, windy with rain. Heavy at times. Low 55. The week ahead. Now, right now, the rush is officially on. If people make their last minute preparations for Hurricane Sandy, the storm is surpassing uh, many expectations uh, already, and it is, uh, again, uh, not in a good way. We'll say it that way. Now, we'll show you where and when the storm could cause some flooding, down trees, power outage, and this is not an overestimate for millions of people watching us right now. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Todd Santos, and you're watching our round-the-clock coverage of Hurricane Sandy. Keep in mind, even if you do lose power, you can easily find us online uh, and, of course, on your mobile device. Now, this system is already a historic storm, and it is far from over at this point. I want to bring you the very latest coming into our satellite center here at the Weather Channel. 33 counties in four states are now under winter storm watches and warnings. It, this is an incredible thing to be talking about when we're now talking about a hurricane, but those states, North Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, West Virginia. Now, Frisco, North Carolina, and the Outer Banks is actually preparing, or should I say reporting, nearly six inches of rainfall already. All parks are now closed in and around New York City. And I want to say we have just about, uh, just inside now of an hour and a half before all New York transit is closed down. That means the subways and good luck finding a cab once that happens. So make sure uh, you are set to be hunkered down there. And want to bring in our hurricane specialist, Dr. Greg Postel, uh, to kind of get an idea of what you're thinking out there uh, with some of the latest here. Again, there's, there's so many separate facets of this storm. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, fortunately it's kind of behaving. That's one good thing. Maybe it's behaving exactly as forecast or very close to that. So it hasn't thrown any surprises in there yet. Uh, but unfortunately, the forecast is very dire for many uh, along the northeast coast. So let's look at the latest uh, forecast or latest advisory from the Hurricane Center. 75 mile per hour storm as of 5 o'clock, 952 on the pressure. That's extraordinarily low. Uh, and what that is going to likely do is maybe break some minimum pressure records uh, where near where the center comes on board, uh, very likely now in New Jersey, we think, on Monday evening. The storm overall is moving toward the northeast at 15. There's where the center is, about 350 miles east of Wellington, North Carolina, maybe 550 miles south-southeast of New York City. This is where the center is, but, you know, impacts are being already felt along the Jersey coast. There are high waves there and rain and gusty winds all across the northeast part with the north, uh, northeast part of the country and middle Atlantic with a northeasterly wind, at times gusting already up to 40 miles per hour. So let's look at some of the observations there that we've already had a look at. Atlantic City, north, northeast sustained 21 gusts to 26, largely uh, 15 to 25 mile per hour winds on the sustained, but a little bit further south, they're gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour over uh, Virginia, Delaware, and coastal Carolina. There is a buoy here with a sustained wind at 38 miles an hour out of the northeast. Waves are 14 feet, and some large waves are definitely making their way close to the coast in New Jersey and all up and down the northeast coast for that matter. So let's look at right now what we've got here is a USG uh, GFS forecast model for tomorrow morning. This is 
is where the center of Sandy is expected to be. Very bad conditions already in place across parts of uh, the East Coast. In fact, Norfolk, Virginia, that's about when the worst conditions will be uh, there for you. And they will be going downhill. Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Philly, New York City. Conditions are going to be getting worse during the day on Monday. And landfall likely along the New Jersey coast Monday evening. But impacts spread over a very wide area. Perhaps hurricane force gusts over regions anywhere from Washington all the way up to Boston. Now, the pressure minimum that one of the models is expecting when it comes on shore is 947 millibars. And to put it in some kind of perspective, here's some of the all-time record minimum pressures that have ever been recorded in this region. Atlantic City, 960. New York, 961. So all around the 960 area, if indeed that forecast does verify, it will break records. And what that is telling you is that basically this storm has so much energy associated with it and so much wind power that it is going to likely do a lot of damage. Now, here's some timing for New Jersey, for example, some conditions that you might expect. During the day tomorrow, we'll see coastal flooding, winds gusting 40 to 50 with large and destructive waves tomorrow. And then Monday night, that's when the worst conditions will likely move in with wind gusts over 75 miles per hour, large and destructive waves along the coast with severe coastal flooding as well. Tuesday, still windy, perhaps later in the day, things improving, but we still have morning wind gusts to over 65 miles per hour. This is not only intense, but also a long duration event. So with that, we'll send it back to Todd in the studio. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Greg Postel. That is an yep. extraordinary long uh, duration for a system. Now, the Weather Channel, of course, is the most experienced team meteorologist in the business covering this storm, and we really have you covered across a good stretch of the East Coast here from Jim Cantori, New York. Of course, uh, Al and Stephanie out in Asbury Park, New Jersey. We have uh, at least, of course, the folks here, Reynolds, Eric, holding it down in southeast New England, and even Julie Martin, and we're finding her now on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Uh, you've been craving the wind uh, for hours here in Nags Head, Julie. I guess you can talk to people about how long this really is, is just going to last. Yeah, I think it's really important to hit that point that this is a long duration event. I can tell you, we here on the Outer Banks have been experiencing tropical storm force winds for over 17 hours now, ever since midnight, and it's unrelenting. It hasn't let up yet. We're still seeing gusts of around 48 to 50 miles an hour here in Nags Head, a little bit less at Cape Hatteras, but nonetheless, it is a brutal day here. It's going to be a brutal evening as well. We have also, I've just learned, picked up about a half a foot of rain here and it's continuing to rain hard it's one of those hard stinging rains and it's coming out from the north so guys we are still dealing with it here and this is only just a little taste of what jim cantori is going to be experiencing there in battery park city new york jim uh, i know that you haven't seen it yet but i'm sure you're ready yeah, we're ready, and uh, of course the hope of the mayor is that uh, everybody heeds the uh, mandatory evacuation here for Zone A. Hopefully uh, we won't see some of this water get into some parts of Zone B. Anyway, got an update from the New York Stock Exchange here. Uh, it is going to be closed in terms of the trading floor, but trading will continue electronically. All right, some pictures from the last hour here over the harbor. I want to show you this big cruise ship heading out of port here into what is going to be an ominous ride for all those on that cruise ship. We have 20 to 40 foot seas out there, regardless of which direction you go. If you go southeast or even south, you're going to go right into the teeth of that storm with that cruise ship. Ooh. Hope they got a lot of drama meat on board. Stick around. Much more to come on Sandy, including timing and impacts of this not only surge event, rain event, wind event, but also snow event. Already starting to snow across parts of southwestern Virginia.